Hello everybody, this is Robbie again from Audifier. Today I'd like to do this quick video to show a few of the presets. Today we're just gonna listen to some guitar sounds. Here we go. This one is an acoustic guitar, it's played with sticks. For the moment I'm not gonna use key switches to change the phrases, but just, as you see, uh, the buttons and the recall button, because I want you to see when I'm actually changing. Okay, the next one is called Celestial Guitars, and uh, it's one of my favorite. It's got this very heavenly sound. Mm, I really like this one. This patch is made with two sound sources, an electric guitar heavily, and an acoustic one, which is a nylon guitar, pitched up. For the next patch, um, let me change the BPM first, okay. This is a clean guitar riff. It's nice because it, it's got on the upper velocities some uh, slides and it makes it very real. Okay, what's next? Um, let's see. Clean strut legato. Now this patch has at different velocities hammer-ons and pull-offs. Have a listen. And this kind of whammy bar effect is programmed within phrase. Next one is uh, a very fun patch. Crunchy tap. made only by tapping on the fretboard and then we process the sound with different uh, amplifiers and stuff. Okay, next one is Eddie Stop and this is tapping, electric guitar and BPM. <laughs> yeah, okay, uh, that's fun. Next one is ah 80s. I love 80s and this is one of my favorite sounds. Okay, let's uh, modify a little bit. Make it shorter. Okay. Also reduce the attack. Make it ghostly. Anyway, um, next patch is a combination of two sound sources, uh, guitar and bass. Obviously, to keep this video short, I'm not playing all the phrases of each patch. Just playing a few notes just to give you an idea. Indie clean guitar. Also with this one, let's play around with the hold and release, just to make it short, a little bit more delay, reverb, there is never enough reverb. <laughs> okay, next patch is another one of my favorites, again tapping the guitar, but we did some crazy mod filter in here. Next one is Nylon Edge. Uh, this is, as the name says, classical guitar played like the Edge. <laughs> and there it is. How could we miss this opportunity, right? Okay, next one is a bass patch. Riffing rock bass goes like this. Okay, let's make it slower and.
Next patch is a combination of bass and guitar, but this time we have a slap bass. And uh, let's put the BPM a little bit up, and it goes like this. <laughs> Okay, let's see a few phrases, different rhythms going on. Okay, let's put some delay on the bass. That was fun. Next patch is to the edge. Guess what this sounds like? <laughs> of course. But really, we couldn't resist. We had to do some of this. Okay, let's change a bit. Let's make it shorter, a bit of chorus. Reverb. Okay, digital. That's the internal reverb of contact. We can play around with this and it makes it more dynamic. Also, other few phrases. And, yeah. and another one. Okay, some time has passed and uh, we added a few presets, start with double harmonics. So we added a few presets which are definitely more cinematic and the next one is in fact filmic guitars and it goes like this. Now, this patch is in A minor, but we can switch the scale control off. And it's definitely more cinematic you now, because now we are in chromatic scale, not anymore in A minor. We can also adjust a little bit the release control and... Okay, so next one is glacial guitar. I don't even know if glacial is really a word, but anyway. Um, Let's make it A minor, because I'd like to play a poppy kind of. And I'm just using one phrase, you can see I'm just uh, playing the root note and sequitur does the rest. Et voila, instant gratification. Okay, now we have guitar granules. Uh, let's take it a bit higher. With this one we can change the release control um, to accentuate the granules here much more. Also we can totally get rid of them. Like so. And as usual. Next one, guitar on films. This is, I think, by far my favorite. Very clean sounding, very cinematic. Um, this one is such an inspiring sound. I'd, I'd like to play more notes at the same time. And this is really a cue, I think. It could be, it could work in any drama or a very sad moment or pensive moment. Okay, maybe I got carried away. Okay, the volume. Okay, next one is a combination of a nylon guitar and an acoustic guitar. Sounds like this.
Let's see how the phrase is. It's very peaceful and clean. Other phrase, uh, higher. Okay. Here you can notice the ringing sound of the steel strings. To end this video, I'd like to show you how fast and easy it is to create a patch. We're just going to use one sound source. Okay, let's choose a guitar. Switch on and throat. It sounds like this. Switch on the sequencer and record the phrase in 30 seconds notes. Okay, sequitor, we do the rest, finish the phrase. That's how it sounds. You can hear them. Just adjusting the velocities and save. Then delay, it's always good. And reverb. Okay, now I'd like to do one thing with the filter on this. So let's, now it's off. Let's draw it quick and easy. Switch it on. You see how easy it is to. Edit, save, okay, next phrase, we edit the filter a bit, okay, modify a bit, mm -hmm. do a few fixes there, while I'm still playing, okay, save, now, I'm gonna keep the same phrase, but, I'd like to use the browser to change the pan. So select the pan, now it's flat, go to the menu, browser, we have a few patterns already made that we can assign to any parameter we want or effects. Uh, we can also nudge them a bit to change, uh, but I'm going to choose this one, I think, yeah? Uh, apply to the pan and save. And now the green sliders are displaying the curve that we selected. We save again to be sure. Now, I'd like to add a few notes at the end of the phrase, but I will not record the phrase from scratch, I just will add it, we'll add the notes at the end. So we go to the position 13 and play a few notes. Now, Sacritoid is not going to delete the previous notes, it's just going to add what I play from this point onwards. Okay, save. I couldn't quite hear them because of the filter cutoff that is closing there. Yeah, so we're gonna change that. Okay, again with the drawer tool. Okay, much better. And save. Now, the next phrase, I'm just gonna change one note, the last one, where it says G1, I'm gonna turn it into A1. Save. And we can do it again on the next phrase. Just raise it up a tone, save. And now I can just uh, flick through every phrase and have fun. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.